So I, I, okay, hold on. So I have this, this little car I made for my kids, right? And I need to put some speed control in it. Not that it goes real fast, but... Yeah, the car. It, you've been in the car. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's, it's not a fast car, but it, it's really strong. So when you, when you tell it to go, it actually pops a wheelie a little bit just because it torques so hard. So I want to give it a, a medium speed and then a full speed. That's it. It doesn't need any more than that. So I was running around my house looking for anything I could use as a resistive, well, a resistor to make a resistive speed controller. And after like a dozen different things, I found this stainless steel wire I have a big roll of over there. And I took a piece and tested it on the car. You know, I've, just with all these different things, I'm just kind of like holding them connected to the, the electrical stuff to see, to see how fast it goes. And you know, some things barely made any change. Like I had a big piece of copper wire that was really long which still didn't have enough resistance to slow it down much. And then I had some big fat resistors. Those slowed it down too much. Anyway, this is a piece of that stainless steel wire that is a good length. <laughs> it was a really long piece. So I, I coiled it around this pipe, which I'm about to take it on. Yeah, so that's my resistive coil. <laughs> If, this, would, this would be better if I had a piece of nichrome wire, which has more resistance than this stuff. Like, What's nichrome? You know, that nichrome wire is what I put in the zombie chopper, that boat. It's that coil of wire. So I have a much shorter piece of wire, like about that long. Maybe, maybe that long, even. Nichrome wire that's in one of the boats. But So this stuff doesn't have as much resistance it also shouldn't get that hot so i mean it'll it'll work because the, the heat's going to be spread out over this huge thing and uh it'd be nice to have something not so huge but this will work so i'm going to connect this in line with the electricity that's going to the motor and then we're going to have to make a switch to bypass this so when this is connected that'll be the medium speed or the low speed whatever and then when i put in a switch that bypasses this, that will be the high speed. That will be, you know, directly connected the batteries to the motor with as little resistance as possible. All right, so I think I'm just gonna connect this in right now so that normal operation, it'll have this resistance in there. All right, first I'm gonna make some little coils at the end so I can, so I can, Put a bolt through there and a nut and then put a wire on and bolt it on. You know? Same thing at the other end. I'm also gonna have to mount this on something. Plastic. It can't be can't be touching conductive stuff. Conductive is anything that conducts electricity, like lets electricity go through it. So wires are conductive. Metals in general are conductive, generally speaking. Plastic is not conductive. It doesn't elect let electricity flow easily. All right, what can we attach this to? It's gotta be something plastic. It could be wood, but wood will rot. So mm -hmm. you guys look for something plastic. It's about as long as this thing that we could attach this to, just to keep it from just flailing around. Well, I've already seen like a dozen different things that we could use, but it's their car, so I'm gonna Wait to see what they come up with. That one right there? Yeah. You cut it a little shorter. This one. You want to draw a line where it needs to get cut? Oh, yeah. Or do you want to cut it? You can make, make a way bigger line, because if you make a little tiny dot like that, it might just be mistaken for dirt, especially with a pipe that's that dirt. All right, we're going to need two more washers and two more nuts. All right, you cut that. I'll do different thing. I'll 
Okay. All right, you guys, you have to put a bolt sticking up through there, but there's gotta be a washer on that side and on this side, and then a nut holding it all together. Yeah, is there a washer on the inside? Yeah. Dude, nice work, dude. I did too. Yeah, yours too. Mm -hmm. All right, can you figure out how this goes on there? Okay. Look, it's got a hole right here. Mm -hmm. Put it on there. <laughs> here, like this. Ah. And then get your net on there. It's gonna get All right, let me see what you guys have. So what's the problem with this so far? Uh, wait, wait. What's the problem with it? It's not it's too floppy, right? Yeah. So how many spots do we have to connect it on to make it so it's not so floppy? Ah! Okay, if I hold it one spot right in the middle, how's that? Good. It actually does seem pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe we should hold it in two spots just to make it extra secure. It is oh, awesome. That's pretty good. We just left the ah, ends long on the this. rivets. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys fighting about? All right. Yeah. Seems pretty sturdy. Yeah, pretty good. Recording. All right, I think we should put this up here. Yeah. You can see through it pretty easily. Well, you guys are all down here anyway. Yeah, no one's going to hit their head above the steering wheel. All right. Zip ties. You open? Yep. All right. Bring them over. You can turn it off. All right. Move it that way a little bit. All right, now pull it real tight. Push that part in. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty secure, right? Looks good. All right, now I need to get from the switch. This is our safety. <laughs> I don't have a I don't have a main off switch, so when when no one's here, I just leave that wrapped around so nothing will touch. Which is I have to make it anyway. That's just a temporary thing. All right. We, if we disconnect this wire, then we can. Well, we'll have to put a extenderizer on it. Run it up here, connect there, and then connect the wire from here. I guess we can go through the pipe. Back down the same way and to here. Yeah, back to here. Wait a minute, you know what? This black wire comes from all the way under the car on the other side where there's a battery. So we can disconnect it there, stick it back through. We can come out of here, maybe go under here and then up and then connect to this end. And then from this end, we go down. That way we don't have to have a wire going all the way across unnecessarily. That one down into there, and I think we can go. Oh, much more gentle of an acceleration there. All right, now I think right on here I can cut this wire, put in a switch for the for the fast speed. Yeah, I might even want the slow speed a little bit faster, which means I would have to bypass some of this. I could just twist a bit of it together. I don't know, let me, let me see. I kind of like it being a gentle speed. What, you want to drive? Yeah, I think this is a much better uh, power level. I'm, I'm not worried that I'm gonna shred the diff... Oh, still got power to go over stuff, that's good. Anyway, I'm not worried that I'm gonna shred the differential or any of the gears every time I hit the go now. Yeah, this is much better. Still sufficient power to go. And I just drove over that little pile of stuff over there. No problem. And I think this is a good good speed for little kid learning. Oh. Oh, you, you want you wanna drive? Well, I thought I get to drive. I, I built the car. Alright, 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 here you go. I'll get out. You can make it around that corner. Keep going. I think you'll make it. Keep going. Now you gotta, you gotta keep going because you won't. Keep going. Keep going. 
because you have to get far enough away from the thing behind you that you can back up, turn the other way, and then get around. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> you want to go a little more forward then? Yeah, go a little more forward, turn. A little more. And then turn your wheel the other way and then go backwards. Yeah, you know how to do this. So this is better, right? It doesn't jerk so much when you start. Well, I better, I better shut up and let her concentrate. Yeah, you can go forward. Are you clear of that? Oh, you better back up then. I, I don't need to put the higher speed in until we're gonna start, you know, going up and down hills and stuff. Just driving around up here. This, what are you doing, dude? I'm making all the, the whole solar system. Which which planets are these? They are also the What's system. that big one? That big one's Jupiter. Where, which one? That big oh, what's Jupiter. the big, big one? Is that the sun? Yeah. Oh, where's Earth? Oh, you have them in order, don't you? But that's Why is the Earth right next to uh, Venus? The moon? Oh, that's Earth and the moon. Wait, where's Venus? I see you have Mercury there. Okay, you got the Sun, Mercury, then Earth, but Venus should be in there, right? Oh. And then Mars, Jupiter, Saturn? Mm -hmm. And then Neptune goes out here? Mm -hmm. This is Neptune. Oh, you got Neptune already? And then what's this one? Oh, you know, that car is geared down so much, I might be able to use it for construction purposes. It's not going to pull like a 6,000 pound log across the ground or anything, but like if I made a little trailer, filled it with dirt, I bet it could tow one of those around, no problem. Stuff like that. Hmm. Or maybe I should just shut up and not take over the kid's car. <laughs>